court collapse tonight. A tight-knit community of bocce ball players is left wondering if they'll be able to start their season after the January storms turned their court into a disaster zone. CBS 13 Steve Large is in East Sacramento with a bocce rebuild. Steve? Well, just take a look for yourselves. The damage here, really dramatic. A full month after a tree tore through the roof here, this twisted metal is still just hanging. And it's unclear when the cleanup could start. What is the word you use to describe this? Holy crap. <laughs> for TV. Oh, for TV. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Romano Lucchini's sense of humor has not replaced his sense of awe. It looks like a hurricane or a tornado came through here. Over the destruction done to his East Sacramento bocce ball club court. It's, it's like a sacred thing. A massive tree tearing through its roof. His club has 350 members. The nonprofit manages the court. The city owns the land at East Portal Park. And liability over the cleanup remains unclear. So I'm still waiting to hear if the, when the city, if they're going to clean it up, when that's going to be. Or number two, will they allow us to start the process? The city of Sacramento announced they've received 3,000 tree-related calls for service since the New Year's Eve storm, and that they may not be able to complete storm cleanup for six months. Yes, we get phone calls. What's going on? Are, things, are the courts going to be ready? I'll be red. That was good. And I'm going to be green. Lucchini showed me some beginning bocce ball tips. There you go. On a court not ready for the real thing. How did I do? I actually did pretty well. This bocce ball court for this community to come together. Everybody likes to play bocce. It's still sidelined by the January storms. So time is ticking. The season is supposed to start in mid-March. And get this, of the 350 or so members, the oldest is 98 years old. And that's Romano's dad.